culture in an organization is like the lifeblood. What do I mean by that? It's around how the team engage with each other, how they behave. I think one of the biggest successes I've got recently working with a business or an organization is understanding how do we set clear boundaries, clear behaviors, rules of the game. I think Sir Clive Woodward described it best when he spoke about teamship. He spoke about the England rugby team and what he did with those guys as they started to go into the World Cup. I really encourage anyone to think about that concept and read his book Winning to go through that. Why? Because it comes back to setting clear boundaries, clear rules of the game and getting very clear around the culture that you now want to build as an organisation. Why? I come back to culture will be the lifeblood. This is what runs through the veins of your business. This is what pretty much is going to determine a percentage of the result that you're getting. Increase your performance, increase the culture, the business will increase. If you put great people into a toxic environment, it's only a matter of time before they become intoxicated. You've got to make sure that before you build a super high performing organisation, you've got a super high performing culture. Culture first, then team, then result. Such a key part.